There you are, Digijex. Before I continue the video, for your illustrious debut on my channel, you get the car treatment. Is the one who does these hmm. type of videos while myself does Bakugan. But to be honest, Brawl! this year in 2018, I've been watching the original Yu-Gi-Oh anime along with Yugi Bernie's Do videos, along with Jordan Lego Comics's Duelist of the Rift. I have to get to him at some point. Of the Rift Duel that These too. These videos have been inspiring me to get into Yu-Gi-Oh dueling myself. You guys might be questioning me if I'm going to make this as a series. And to answer that question, yes. that's something I am not for sure, since this series was from Yugi Broni and not me. But if I were to make it a series, which you ended up I doing, I might not do it as often as my Bakugan Brawl vids and other content. Which is fair. However, I do have plans to do a scripted tag team duo at some point as of this video's release. Because after watching the tag team duels in the original series anime, the one with Yugi and Joey versus the two brothers that use Labyrinth Wall, and the tag team duel with Yugi and Seto it is an original kind of duel. Hunters have inspired me to do this idea. How will it work out? Well, you will find that out once I. Yugi Brony never had a tag duel, so that and would be interesting. I know I said in my Bakugan Brawl vid that the card game of Yu-Gi-Oh wouldn't be for me, and making this video contradicts what I said. But then again, the previously mentioned anime and that stuff motivate me to do this duel video. So I do apologize about the contradiction. Anyways, well, at least you bring I up the contradiction. The between Chud and I. Makes you better than most people. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Brawl! Season Zero theme? Fuck yeah. Every anime opening ever, but it's still a catchy theme, damn it. Besides, I wonder where is Digi? He's been gone for a few hours. Hey there, Zarbox. Darn you, Microsoft Mike! Where were you, Digi? Sorry for taking so long, Zarbox. I just went to get something. I see. What's in that tech box you're holding? Is it more ability cards for your future brawls? Actually, no. In this deck box, it contains Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Blasphemy! Yu -Oh Blows cards. it the fuck up. Why you have them out for? Well, I'm going to be honest here that I'm going to be doing a duel with Chud. Really? Because I remember at one point you said it wasn't interesting enough to where you would play the card game yourself. I know, but I've changed my mind thanks to some things, like the anime, Yugi Bronies duels, and so I swear we just had the this. The deck I got here is from one of my cousins, which he gave to me when I was a little cult. I guess he gave it to me because oh, now he had the in-universe like explanation or something, and gave it to me since I was into Yu-Gi-Oh. But at the time, I wasn't the biggest fan. I haven't touched a deck in a long while, but since I've gotten interested with Yu-Gi-Oh again, I went into my personal collection of things in a big box I have stored somewhere in the Cypher Realm and built up the decks to where I have enough cards for a duel. The monsters I have in this deck are mostly dragon monsters, but I do have a few monsters that aren't dragons in this deck. Hmm. I see. Do you have well, dragon is the most amount of monsters deck? in the game. Of course. Can't wait One of these the most cards. amount of cards. Have you, you know? talked with Chad about having this duel? No, but I'm planning to ask him since he has some knowledge with Yu-Gi-Oh. Speaking about that, I'm going to be doing that right now, so I'll see you soon. Wait, before you go, where are you and Chad are going to duel? We're going to duel in the Cyber Realm. The duel arena in the Rift Cafe can be able to change environments whenever you use one of those type of cards like Yumi. That's but candy. since the Cyber Realm has a very similar mechanic, I thought we can do it here. Alright then. See you soon. Now heading to Yu-Gi-Oh! Interspace. Oh, that's a nice little effect. Oh. Now we're in the shop. Ah, what a beautiful day. Let's see here. I got my good old agent stack, and I need to put Animation's some well done in there. this. It seemed like only yesterday when I was playing this deck. Wow. Oh wait, it was so only yesterday. Great memories. Hello, Chen. Oh, hey, Dizzy. What's up, buddy? I'm actually doing fine, buddy. I came out of the cyber realm to find you because I want to ask you something. What is it you want to ask, bud? 
I want to Can I borrow five bucks? Do you want to have a Yu-Gi-Oh duel with me in the Cyber Realm like we did a while back with Bakugan? Definitely. I was just tuning my deck to be honest. I'd love to have a little duel with you. Awesome. It's weird how the creator so what deck are you going to be using? have Earth, but my not a Synchro. Deck. I've had this deck for as long as I can remember. I see. I'm actually going to be using a dragon deck. I see. I love dragons too. Let's see what you got, buddy. Blaster, Redox, Tidal, Tempest, uh I like the effect. Alright, we are here. I'll never get tired of being here. Sub Zarvox. You can go from magic to cyberspace. Since you duels don't have any AI, unlike that of Bakugan Zarvox, I think you'll have to observe for this one. I really don't mind, to be honest. Yes! First time I dueled in a while! And for me, technically, and again, my when you think about duel, it, despite knowing Yu -Gi -Oh at some point, the science will get so at far least, advanced that we'll think it's magic. It. Like, if we went back let's about 100 do. years in history and showed them an iPhone, they'd be like, Burn the witch! Okay, I'm going to start first by summoning Mystic Egg. Everyone knows a phone's supposed to be the size of a freaking. Oh, hello. Then I activate the spell card, Dragon's Treasure. This gives Did they make that card in real life, or is that an anime card? I can't tell anymore. They keep printing real life versions of anime cards. I activate Sanctuary in the Sky. This field spell makes it to where whoever has a fairy type monster, they take no battle damage. Hmm. I normal summon the Agent of Mystery Earth. Her effect lets me search for an agent monster. But, if Sanctuary in the Sky is in play, which it is, I can search for Master Hyperion instead. Oh boy. And, I can special summon Hyperion by removing from play one Agent Monster from my hand, field, or graveyard. And I remove from my hand the Agent of Creation Venus. Mm. Now, Hyperion, attack Mystic Egg! But Mystic Egg has an effect. I set two cards face down and end my turn. Draw. By the way, since you destroyed Mystic Egg, I can build a summon Mystic Baby Dragon due to its effect. Yep, then anime I activate cards. the spell card, Mystical Space Typhoon. Sorry, Dizzy. I activate my trap card, Divine <sighs> Punishment. Uh. This card lets me negate a spell, trap, or monster's effect and destroy the card as long as I got Sanctuary in the Sky out. Nice try, buddy. Crap! Well, at least I can be able to do this. My Mystic Baby Dragon will attack your Ancient of Mystery Earth. I only did that successfully, but I take no damage. Oh, poor Earth. I summon Mirage Dragon. <laughs> you destroyed the Earth. We cut it out of the Cyber Realm, and it's just not there anymore. Speaking of which, since my turn ended, they can be landed my Mystic live in Equestria, which is either to the town they live in or, dragon. or the is either Draw. the country they live in or the I planet. I another agent of Mystery Earth to search for a second Hyperion. And I remove from play Earth to special summon that second Hyperion. And can never to remember. destroy the other Earth, I can use Hyperion's special ability. Uh oh. I remove Earth from play to destroy nice. one card on the field. And I choose your Mystic Dragon. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, Tiji. I couldn't help myself. Anyway, all that work for now nothing. for the fun part. Hyperion number one, attack Mirage Dragon. I got you credit on this one. The animation's far and away impressive. Hyperion number two will attack you directly. I activate my trap card, Magic Cylinder. Oh! Oh crap! That's effect damage due to it being a trap and not battle damage. Yep. Guys, you're doing Why really good. Why did I good, explode? Dizzy. Keep it up. Draw. <laughs> I swear to God, I hope you don't have another one of those. I activate. Why would I only run two? Oh crap! My Hyperion! Then I Has Monster Aboard in hand. I change Burial from a different dimension. I bring back three banished cards to my graveyard. 
The music cards are getting Whew. cut off. This has been annoying. That was though. close. All right. Then I'm making or breaking it, but it's one of those things that's like, Alexandra eh? Dragon. He'll attack you directly. The brownie face. And I end my turn. Draw. Oh, thanks, Celestia. I activate Paw the Green, oh. and I draw uh. two cards. <gasps> yes! This is just what I needed! I activate Valhalla Hall of the Fallen. And since I got no monsters, I can special summon one fairy monster. And I special summon the best woman in Yu-Gi-Oh! Tethys, the Goddess of Light! I mean, your then, waifu, I, thought it was gonna I be will Athena. activate Reload, and I shuffle two cards back into the Which deck and draw Which triggers Tethys' effect. Yes! Hey, Digi, want to see why she's so special? Why is that? You see, whenever I draw a fairy monster, I can reveal that monster so that I can draw another card. Jupiter. Now I can draw another card. And what do you know? Another fairy monster. Mystic Shine Ball. Draw another. Yes! Age of the Grace of Venus. Draw another. Aw, no fairy monster. Well, your luck was bound oh. to run out eventually. Hmm, that's a very cool effect. Hmm. At least right now, it <laughs> a very go cool effect. Thanks. Eh? She eh? is the best. And trust me, that happened to others before, but thankfully not to me yet. But anyway, I normal summon Agent of Miracles Jupiter, and I'll activate his ability to banish one ancient monster from my graveyard. And give one monster on my side of the field 800 Surprise, attack points. Left. And I choose to power up Jupiter himself. Oh boy. Now, Jupiter, attack Alexandrite Dragon. I activate Mirror Force. <sighs> Say goodbye to your monsters. Hip, hip, you, cheerio. You destroyed Tethys. Yep. Oh, that's it. I set two cards face down and uh, end now he's my mad. turn. Draw. She's Chun. I didn't know that card caused you to get angry. Anyways, I activate Pot of Green. I can now draw two cards. Ooh. I can use another one. Draw two what? more cards. I activate Reload. I put all of these cards on my hub to redraw the same amount of cards. In your hub. Well, you knew. I got my last Pot of Green. Really? I draw two more cards. I summon Red Eye Black Chick. Its effect can allow oh, you for to we can do it. <laughs> the Red Eyes Black Dragon. I activate Monster Reborn. I bring back Mystical Dragon from the graveyard. Oh boy. I activate Bottomless Trap Hole on your Mystical Dragon to banish him. Uh. Sorry, Chuddy, but I activate my trap card, the Dragon's Beat. Oh boy. Discarding one card from my hoof and negates your trap card and destroys it. Nice. Oh, by the way. This card is actually continuous. Unless you have a spell card that can destroy it, it will keep negating your trap cards, and as long as I discard one card. My red eyes will attack you directly. I place Mystic Dragon for game? And I end my no. Draw. I activate Mystical Space Typhoon, and I destroy Dragon's Bead. Shouldn't have told him how to destroy it. I remove from play the Agent of Mystery Earth from my graveyard to special summon my third Master Hyperion. Oh, yeah. Now, I will activate his ability to banish one fairy monster to destroy one card on the field, and Mystical Dragon is that choice. Why can't you let it live? Now, I will activate my face down card, Call of the Haunted. And I will use it to bring back one of my Hyperions from the graveyard. Naturally. I will activate the second Hyperion's effect to nuke one of your face down cards. Now, Hyperion, attack Red Eyes! Yeah. Hyperion 2, attack Alexandrite Dragon! No one destroyed. Well, again, no one could destroy the mystical dragon. I set one card face down and end my turn. Draw. Ah, just what I needed. I at activate Allure of Darkness. Oh boy. I draw two cards and banish one dark type monster to the gateway grave, dragon, which would be my gateway dragon. 
Now I activate Future Fusion. Oh boy. After I showed you the monster I'm going to Fusion Summon, I take my Blue Eyes White Dragon, my Tiger Dragon, my Baby Dragon, my Luster Dragon, and Galaxy Dragon to Fusion Summon the Five Headed Dragon. So it's no, the anime effect. Not him. Tibbet. Not this guy. Now, since I have one of my most powerful dragons in the field, I can now attack one of your Hyperions and end nope. this duel. I activate my The enemy version can't Quattacu. attack the turn you use the effect. Shit, you can do all that other game. stuff, but you can't attack. Well, I can place one monster card face down in defense mode and one card face down. Dodger Dragon? And my turn. Draw. Oh boy, this is gonna be good. I activate Paw the Greed to draw two cards. All the Paw. Yes! Well, here goes nothing. I activate Sanctuary in the Sky. Again? And here comes the fun part. Say goodbye to your dragon. Hyperion, use your effect. Damn Dang it! it. I want one of my best monsters in my deck! <laughs> oh, sorry, Dizzy. But I had to do what I had to do. Now, Hyperion, attack! I activate another mirror force. Uh. Say bye bye to your Hyperion! <laughs> Yet well, again. I guess that's that. I set the one same way too. Down defense position and then my turn. Draw. I activate another monster reborn. Oh boy. I'm going to bring back my blue eyes white dragon. Of course. Good thing I have a defense position monster. Sorry, try. Activate but I'm piercing. This. I activate right deck. Ah. Uh. I'd rather be dark well, mode. Yeah, me. I tried. Now my Indeed you did, finish you and you failed. Dang it, I was so close too. Uh, to be honest, I don't really got an extra deck yet, but hey, I lost to the best dragon. That was a great game, buddy. You were Corner like Konami, an useful yes. boxer to block my five-headed dragon attack and use Hyperion's effect to destroy it. But I'm glad I did sort of have an advantage. Yeah, at least, at least I didn't beat use the dragon beast rulers. himself. I feel satisfied. Five dragon, yeah. Well, I should head back. I'm planning on buying the new structure deck that just came out recently. I'll be keeping this dragon deck since it was sort of helpful. But I will try to add some more cards to make this deck more useful. Mm. And for a bonus, I'm going to keep a Obey the ban list. that I was originally was going to use to win this duel. But it's fine I didn't use it for now. I like how you're like a few non-dragon cards, and there are, and those of like the spells of the traps. There monster. weren't many non-dragons. That is, if he wants to duel with me. Anyways, I'll teleport you back to Ponyville. Thanks, buddy. Abracadabra. Well, that was a fun little episode. Uh, oh, like the animation is well done. I really like that. I just kind of find it irksome that the fan list in the anime cards. Not the anime, not that the uh, fake cards are a bad a break, deal breaker for me. Just one of those things like, eh. But still, I like this one. This is a good beginning. Sorry you had to get the card treatment, but sometimes real life's a bitch, you know. <laughs> what are you gonna do in these times? Anyway, see ya.